Okay. Okay. So here we go again. So this is like the little finger food stuff. We do the little hot dogs and um, all the kibbe of different kinds, vegetable kibbe. I mean, this aisle goes on forever, but there's little cheese pizzas and all kinds of stuff. And then all the stuff I think you cook afterwards. Pretty sure you cook these afterwards. Like that one's got like a sort of chorizo uh, uh, parsley, and here's a pepperoni pizza and feta and stuff. Anyway, you, you get all of these. Yeah, I guess you take them home and you cook them. Okay, so this thing is the fresh Zatar sandwich bar, which has like, I mean, basically Zatar sandwich is a bunch, bunch of tomatoes, uh, fresh mint. And you can either put these, uh, I guess they're beets or whatever, and then a whole bunch of olives stuffed into one of those zatars. So there's one side of it, and then the other side of it, where they sell cooked pizzas. Same thing as before, but these are cooked. These are the takeout counters for um, for lunch. And uh, so all these, you know, spinach-based things and little zatars. And then here's here it is in action. So you basically tell them what you want, and they basically make it. Um, so right over there, he's making one, holding one. It's, it's heavy on the lemon juice, so it's kind of unbelievably good. And then they warm it up very, very slowly. And then here, like, you just take home your favorite marinated meat, I guess, or you can have them make it and they make these sandwiches, but there's even more cool stuff here. So I'm just going to take you through quickly. Like, uh, for example... Pardon? J'ai parlé à Monsieur Lemon. So this thing looks amazing. It's a, it's a paella. It's an unbelievable paella and like chickpea and chicken. And here, let's just go through here. Um, stuff, uh, courgette, squash, vine leaves, uh, shish balak, which would be, uh, I don't know what balak is, it's, I guess it's a kind of meat, like either chicken or beef, sorry. Oh, let's see, it's, it's, a, it's a pasta, kind of pasta with beef in it. Yeah, totally delicious, great for the health, I mean, these guys know how to eat. So couscous salad, all kinds of stuff, unbelievable, and and it is enormous. Like we'll just take you. They they kind of they kind of really made it upscale. I have no idea what that is. I think it's it's got to have a honey. Um, yeah, yeah. It's it's just like uh, almond almond paste, I think, with. Um, with honey all over it. Really tremendous. Look at the size of that thing. They just cut strips of it. And then see, this is this is the upscale uh, dessert section. So like really fancy, really upscale. Look at these. It's like pear popsicles. Uh, these beautiful little uh, yeah, I guess they're uh, pomme d'amour, which would be maybe apples, I guess. Uh, so chocolate apples, and then. I don't know how this stocks up against Dr. Oker stuff that we eat, but look at look at the detail. This is absolutely beautiful. It's, it's the care they put into it. This facility is enormous. Well, I'll show you outside in a sec. So these jelly fruit all the way along the bottom, like phenomenal, very expensive stuff. Um, I I just I'm in awe. That's why I'm taking these pictures. So they've got all kinds of fancy stuff, and then, you know, there's all kinds of, like, I don't know if these are ice cream cakes or regular cakes, no, they're regular cakes, creme brulee, which looks like it was done incredibly well, shine, that's for you men, yeah, creme brulee, chocolate creme brulee, can't even pronounce it, my mouth is watering, uh, here's a cute little mouse. And this is just, uh, I mean, it, it, this stuff looks like um, those uh, those uh, reality show, uh, cake box kind of shows that we watch. It's just absolutely beautiful. Look at these. I guess they're supposed to look like oranges or 
peaches and strawberries. Um, nothing would be complete without a picture of a little dog. So here's a little dog, some bananas. It's just out of this world. I'll back up so you can get the full picture. I'm going to head to this corner here and you can have a look at how enormous this place is. Totally beautiful. Anyway, well, we're going to walk outside and I'll show you what's outside. I mean, it's still early on, on Sunday morning and people are coming in like, like crazy. Uh, the owner was around here. He was a very friendly man here, Monsieur Lemo, right there. And uh, I guess the exit is over here. But phenomenal, phenomenal. Upstairs in the indoor eating area, and then summer, this is the place to be for lunch. So they just, they've just put this up, but it's really, really well done. And like I said, it is enormous. Entire block, more or less, most of the block. Well, that's it. That's Andalos out in the middle of nowhere, near where my mom lives.